everyone. Welcome to my channel Crochet Rainbows and Butterflies. Today we are going to learn how to crochet this doily. Now before we get started, if you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to never miss a crochet tutorial. Now for this tutorial, I'm using crochet hook 3 millimeters. You can use any crochet yarn, but for this tutorial, I'm using crochet 4 ply cotton yarn and I've used three colors. So let's get started. We begin with a slip knot and once you have your slip knot you need to chain five. One, two, three, four and five. Now once you have your chain of five you need to work a slip stitch in the first chain. Now once you've done that, you chain 3. This will be counted as the first double crochet of this row. We are starting the first row. And after you chain 3, you need to work 11 double crochets in this circle. So we start with 1, 2, 3, Four, and you need to continue working 11 double crochets in the circle. After you complete your row, you need to join it with a slip stitch into the first chain 3 right here. And now counting the first chain 3, you need to have a total of 12 stitches. Now for the next row, you chain 3. This will be counted as a first double crochet of this row. In the same stitch, you work one double crochet. Now in the next stitch, you work two double crochets. One and two. In the next stitch, two double crochets. One and two. And you need to continue working two double crochets in each stitch of this row. And towards the end, you need to have a total of 24 stitches. After you complete your row, you need to join it with a slip stitch. And now we're going to start the next row. You chain 3. This will be counted as a first double crochet of this row. In the next stitch, you need to work 2 double crochets. 1 and 2. In the next stitch, one double crochet and in the next stitch, two double crochets, one and two. Again, in the next stitch, one double crochet and in the next stitch, two double crochets, one and two. And now you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of this row. After you complete your row, you need to join it with a slip stitch right here. And now to start the next row, you chain 3. In the next stitch, you work 1 double crochet. In the next stitch, 1 double crochet. And now you chain 1. And now you need to work 1 double crochet in the next 3 stitches, 1, 2 and 3 and now you chain 1. So after every 3 double crochets you need to chain 1. So 1 double crochet in the next 3 stitches, it's 1, 2 and 3 and you chain one and now you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of this row after you complete your row you join it with a slip stitch and now we're going to start the next row you chain three this will be counted as a first double crochet 
in the next stitch you work two double crochets one and two and in the next stitch one double crochet and now you chain two now again you have a set of three double crochets here in the first one you work one double crochet in the second one two double crochets and in the third one one double crochet chain two again in the next double crochet you have three double crochets here in the first one one double crochet in the second one two double crochets and in the third one one double crochet and you're going to be skipping the chain space throughout the row so in the first double crochet one double crochet in the second two double crochets in the third one double crochets and chain two you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of this row after you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch and now we're going to start the next row you chain three in the next double crochet you need to work one double crochet in the next double crochet that's the third one you work two double crochets one and two and in the last double crochet you work one double crochet chain two skip the chain space in the first double crochet you work one double crochet in the second one one double crochet in the third one two double crochets one and two and in the fourth one one double crochet now you chain two and you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of this row after you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch and now to start the next row you chain three in the second double crochet you work one double crochet in the third one you work one double crochet and in the fourth one you work two double crochets one and two now in the last double crochet here you work one double crochet chain 2 you need to skip the chain space again in the first double crochet you work one double crochet in the second you work one double crochet in the third you work one double crochet in the fourth stitch you work two double crochets one and two and in the fifth one you work one double crochet and now you chain two and you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of this row after you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch and now to start the next row you chain three in the second stitch you work one double crochet in the third stitch one double crochet in the fourth stitch one double crochet 
and in the fifth stitch you need to work two double crochets one and two and in the last stitch one double crochet chain two you need to skip the chain space in the first stitch one double crochet second stitch one double crochet third stitch one double crochet fourth stitch one double crochet in the fifth one you work two double crochets and in the last stitch one double crochet and chain two and now you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of this row after you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch and now to start the next row you work a chain three now you need to work one double crochet in the next six stitches one two three four five and six in the chain space you work three double crochets one two and three now again you need to work one double crochet in the next seven stitches one two three four five six and seven again in the chain space you work three double crochets one two and three and now you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of this row after you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch and now you chain one and cut your yarn we are going to change the color for the next row i've changed the background color for the rest of the rows now you need to join your yarn in any of the stitch going in right here chain one and you need to work one single crochet in the same stitch one single crochet in the next stitch one single crochet in the next stitch and you need to continue working one single crochet in each stitch of this entire circle till you reach right up till here after you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch into the first single crochet chain one and cut your yarn we are going to change the color for the next row now again for the next row the next color you can join the color in any of the stitches but you need to go in the back loop of the stitch now you have your stitch you have two loops in each stitch you need to go in the back loop of the stitch join your yarn chain five And now you need to work one double crochet in the same stitch you need to skip three stitches one two three and chain one skip three stitches one two three in the fourth stitch again in the back loop you need to work one double crochet chain two and one double crochet in the same stitch chain one 
skip 3 stitches 1 2 3 in the fourth stitch in the back loop 1 double crochet chain 2 and 1 double crochet in the same stitch chain 1 and you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of this row after you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch into the first chain 3 in the third chain and now you work a slip stitch in the chain space you chain 3 this will be counted as a first double crochet of this row in the same space you work 5 double crochets 1 2 3 4 and 5 and now you work a single crochet in the chain space right here in the next chain space you work 5 6 double crochets 1 2 3, 4, 5 and 6. In the next chain space you work a single crochet and in the next chain space you need to work 6 double crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. In the next chain space a single crochet. And now you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of this row. After you complete your row you need to join it with the slip stitch to the first chain 3 in the third chain. And now you chain one and cut your yarn. We're going to change the color for the next row. Now for the next color you need to join it in any of the single crochet stitches. You have your shell stitch and in between you have your single crochet. You need to join the next color right into that and chain three. This will be counted as a first double crochet of this row. Now you chain two and in the same stitch you work one double crochet. Chain two. You need to skip the double crochets here. In the next single crochet you work one double crochet chain 2 and 1 double crochet in the same stitch chain 2 you need to skip the double crochets again in the next single crochet you work 1 double crochet chain 2 and 1 double crochet in the same space and now you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of this row. After you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch into the first chain 3 in the third chain. And now for the next row you work a slip stitch in the chain space and chain 3. This will be counted as a first double crochet of this row. In the same chain space you work 5 double crochets 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. In the next chain space you work a single crochet. In the next chain space you work 6 double crochets 1, 
two, three, four, five, and six. In the next chain space, a single crochet. In the next chain space, again, six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. In the next chain space, a single crochet. And now you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of this row. After you complete your row, you need to work a slip stitch into the first chain 3. And now you chain 1 and cut your yarn. We are going to change the color for the next row. Now to attach the next color, again you need to attach it in one of the single crochets in between the shell stitch right here. But you need to go into the back loop of the stitch. Now you attach your yarn. And now you need to work in the back loops of all the stitches of this row and you're going to work slip stitches. So we start with this one in the back loop. The next stitch you work a slip stitch in the back loop. Again the next stitch. And you need to work in all the back loops of all the stitches of this row like this. So you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of this row. You need to work slip stitches in all the back loops of all the stitches. After you complete your row you need to work a slip stitch in the first stitch. chain one and cut your yarn. We've completed working the crochet doily. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and happy crocheting.